All right, so I just came back from watching the new, the the recent Fast and Furious movie. Now, uh, I don't know what this movie is called, and I don't really care because it's a Fast and Furious movie. So <laughs> you're not supposed to care about the title. But anyway, yeah, so this is my first movie uh, going back to the theater because of uh, COVID and all that shit that shut down. Uh, I've been watching all my movies pirated. <laughs> Or uh, from HBO Max, like I saw the Mortal Kombat movie, the the recent Conjuring movie, and um, Wonder Woman, and all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, this is my first time going back to the theater, like I said. Uh, this isn't scripted, by the way, and this isn't like a, what's it called? This isn't like a, uh, a Fast and Furious review. It's just like my thoughts on the movie theater, uh, you know, coming back since I haven't been there in like a year. So yeah. Uh, there were a cu uh, there were a couple uh, kids there. Uh, they reminded me of like uh, like when me and my fr uh, <laughs> my friend used to go there, and uh, yeah, and there were also like a couple girls laughing in the in the fr in the, like the uh, the row be like before us. Like I, it, it was kind of annoying, but I didn't mind it that much, you know. And uh, so yeah, Fast and Furious is like a, what's it called? It's like one of those movies that you don't really take seriously, you know. Cause of, uh, cause like, it's so crazy, like, cause I was, cause me and my dad were talking, like, spoilers if you haven't seen the movie, by the way, but like, they literally like, turn a fucking truck over, and then smash another car, and then, and then the Chad, the Giga Chad, uh, John Cena fucking jumps out of his car into another car, because that car was gonna get like, pounded, and, and yeah, and what's it called? And like a later scene, like a, like a few ten minutes, five minutes after it, a Toretto or or I think that was his name or or, or uh, Vin Diesel's character is like getting shot at by a fucking missile, right? Like the car he or the truck he hijacked gets like bombed, right? And so like he fucking does some shit. He like turns it over, and the plane that's like targeted is right in the in the in the view. So he literally like gets out of the or he turns it. Gets out of the car and then the plane, like, or the truck hits the, the the fucking plane and the plane explodes. Now, the character that was in it, I saw she was fucking dead. Well, guess what? She didn't fucking die. It was all a simulation, bro. Etika type moment. I, I felt John Cena was really, uh, unutilized here. It seemed, he seemed like the typical, uh, Fast and Furious villain, you know? Like, stop. But this time it was close because it's the brother of Vin Diesel's character. And the only, the only good thing about this character is that, you know, he, he, he looks like a Giga Chad. Like, you look at Vin Diesel and John Cena, like, doing a face-off, it, you, you, it, it, it looks like they're not even related. I'm, I'm sorry. How can you convince me that John Cena and Vin Diesel are, like, siblings? Not even, like, their flashback uh, younger version of themselves didn't convince me that they were, like, fucking siblings. But, yeah. Uh, their, their one fight scene was actually pretty cool. I actually liked how, like, fucking both of them were, like, throwing around each other like fucking boulders and, like, causing a bunch of fucking property damage. But, <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah, this is the, this is the movie where they fucking, like, take the cars into space. And I'm not talking about, like, a, like, a, like, the plot of the movie was, like, going into space. No. So, there's, there's a scene, or there's, the plot is basically, like, oh... John Cena is, like, evil, and he's trying to get, like, this thing to hack the network to, like, basically do Skynet and control every weapon in the in the human race. And so, Vin Diesel and the gang had to, like, stop him, and then uh, John Cena gets the singing majiggy And also, by the way, fucking Han, that one guy who fucking died, apparently he raised a, do raised a daughter. He's not, it's not his daughter, but it's, like, it's some, it's some girl who was in the crossfire. He, he raised her. But yeah, apparently she has like the key to like unlocking it in her veins, which makes no fucking sense, but okay. And so, okay, so he launches it, it goes to the nearest satellite, and fucking, what's it called? And the uh, Ludacris and Tyrese fucking go up there in space, and they fucking like, they fucking, what's it called? They fucking like, their shit breaks or whatever, and they're like, you know what, let's, like, fuck it, let's go, like, let's ram through it, like fucking Hulk. So they ram the space car into the fucking thing, kills it, like, like, de deus ex machina type shit, and they fucking, like, win, right? And, and they're on, they're back on Earth, I mean, there's a scene where, like, some, like, satellite sees them, and they look like, a, and they make a, what's it called? They make an offhand remark that they look like a fucking minion, like, haha, okay. But, 
uh, I uh, I feel like fucking Tyrese and Ludacris are like the best parts of this film. Like, of course there's action. Of course there's like fucking cars flipping over and fucking uh, and fucking explosions and all that shit. But like Tyrese and Ludacris make a really great duo. Like they're funny as hell. It's super funny. And yeah, uh, what's it called? What uh, what else can I talk about uh, the movie? Uh, yeah, just the experience of going there is really good. Like, oh right, so uh. In one of the scenes, uh, Vin Diesel goes in. Vin Diesel goes to confront John Cena in his mansion, right? Because apparently he's fucking rich now. I don't know, but uh, what's it called? Yeah. So like, apparently he's trespassing on a different uh, 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 London or whatever, because like he can't. He's not allowed to go into London or whatever, right? And so they take him in, and like the people who actually kidnapped him are actually working for him, and the the first. Per- it's a group of girls, by the way. But the first person we see in the fucking in the fucking militia is fucking Cardi B. They fucking put Cardi B in the goddamn movie. Like I was, I was in the goddamn movie theater laughing my fucking ass off. I'm like, no way they got Cardi B to be in the fucking Fast and Furious movie. I I didn't laugh because her scene was hilarious. I didn't I didn't like laugh because like oh my god she said a haha funny line. No, I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at how stupid it is, dude. Like, why? She she has no intra- She has no like, like no point to be in the plot. She's just there as a cameo. You could have put anyone else. You literally could have put fucking Hay- uh, Hay- uh What's her What's her fucking face? Uh, Haley Berry. I think that's her name. Fucking Haley Berry. And like, it would have been ten times better than fucking Cardi B saying some stupid shit. Like. <laughs> I laughed at the theater so loud that all the people in there were staring at me. My dad was like, yo, what the fuck are, is wrong with you? And I'm like, bro, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that was the first time the fucking, uh, the fucking Fast and Furious movie actually, like, made me laugh. It was, it was so goddamn funny for no reason, right? And yeah, uh, there. Oh yeah, that uh, that one kid I was talking about that was in the movie. He fu- when John Cena appeared, like he fucking moaned out his name, and I was like, "That's my dude right there." <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the movie, they're about to do like their, their traditional like grace eating thing, and like they notice that like oh there's uh there's one seat missing, and a blue car pulls up. And I was like, oh my god, is this, is this, uh, Jacob, John, John Cena's character, is this John Cena fucking joining the crew? Nah, it, it leaves on a fucking cliffhanger. Like, <laughs> why the fuck would you show that? I, 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 I wanna assume it's like fucking, uh, is, uh, what's his face? Ah, fuck, who's the motherfucker who died? Oh, uh, I will I was gonna say Paul Wall, but it's not, <laughs> it's not fucking Paul you're, Wall. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, uh, his name in the movie is Brian, right? Uh, that character. I- I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. But yeah, uh, he fucking died. And I don't know if it's gonna be, like, his twin brother doing and what they did in, like, what's it called? Fast 7? Fast and Furious 7? They're gonna do that shit? But, like, I don't know. There's no point of putting that scene in unless you want to tease us for the next movie. Like, I- at this point, for the next movie, I want, I want, uh, Vin Diesel and the gang to, like, fucking fight the Transformers or whatever. Going to fucking, their cars literally turn into Transformers. And there's, Michael Bay is producing. And they fucking throw around shit. They fucking have, like, extraterrestrial guns, shoots up people. John Cena, for some reason, fights the, the Rock. Uh... And, and, like, we got Optimus Prime and Vin Diesel. Like, Vin Diesel's riding on top of, uh, uh, a fucking, uh, Optimus Prime in his robot form. He's like, FOR FAMILY! You know, it was like, that would be the, I'm sorry, that would be the best movie of all time. Fucking seeing Vin Diesel on top of, a on top of fucking, uh, Optimus Prime with a fucking sword. And he's like, FOR FAMILY! Like, that shit, that shit would just be great, dude. I'm sorry, that would be the best movie of all time. Fuck Avengers Endgame. Fuck this, uh, fucking, uh, what's another, fuck, uh, Pulp Fiction, fuck, uh, fucking any other masterpiece out there. Uh, the Vin Diesel riding on top of Optimus Prime is gonna be the best thing since, oh, fuck. It's gonna be, like, the best thing to ever happen, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of my little, I, I know I said it wasn't gonna be, like, a review of Fast 9, but, I mean, it kind of turned into a, a review. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's my opinions on it. Overall, the movie was actually, like, it was okay. I wouldn't say, like, I had a good, I mean, I did have a good time. But, like, it wasn't, like, you know, it wasn't, like, leaving me emotional, like, um, as this movie did. I actually cried watching this movie, right? You can make fun of me all you want. 
or or you or you want. I cried like four times watching this movie, right? I cried when uh fucking I didn't cry when Black Widow died. I'm sorry. I cried when all the Avengers showed up. No, I okay. The first time I cried, it was when Captain America wielded his shield or the the hammer, right, Mjolnir. The second time is when all the the superheroes came came in and Captain America said uh. Uh, Avengers Assemble, and I was like, fuck you, yeah, let's go, and then the second, or the third time I cried was when Tony Stark died, and then the last time I cried was, uh, uh, fucking, uh, Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter fucking dancing in the 1940s, like, I, I cried, not because it's a beautiful scene, but because I know that will never happen to me, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, like I said, overall, the movie's like a, I'd say like a six or a seven, it's not, it's not good, it's also not bad. It's enjoyable if you're like high or with your or you're with your friends and shit, making like making fun of it. But yeah, that is it for the video, guys. Uh, this is kind of a random video. I'm just trying to get back into YouTube. But yeah, uh, if you do like the video, guys, please give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment, make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Follow me on my social medias, and yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.